Hi, so good to see you the day after NVIDIA reported. I would push back on that. NVIDIA had a great report. Uh, the information had reported, this is a news, uh, this is a media outlet, that data centers would not be stood up in Q1. That would run into Q2, completely thrown off the table last night. Several billions of dollars of Blackwell in Q4. Data centers will be stood up in Q1. That is what investors were expecting. That is what Wall Street was expecting. That's why things are being revised up and they were never revised down. Wall Street obviously is very closely tied to estimates and we never saw revisions downward based on the so-called delay. That's what you want to piece together here is, is NVIDIA coming in uh, according to what Wall Street's expectations are or are they beating? They beat and they're saying Blackwell uh, is basically on time. So I would push back on that. We cover this stock very, very closely. Blackwell is not a concern. If anything, it's extremely bullish. Uh, there are some pr uh, production numbers buried in their report, up 48% quarter over quarter. Could not be more bullish in terms of Blackwell. Now, the valuation, when you have a high flyer like NVIDIA, can get stretched at times. Going into the print, we warned our members that you know, this valuation is looking a little toppy. Uh, what we need is for the fiscal year estimates next year to go up. So we're in a waiting game for analysts to revise their estimates upward, which eventually they will. But until then, the valuation is stretched. OK, so if the valuation is stretched, then where does that put them on the pathway towards reaching some of the targets that you've set forth? You, ha you have some of the kind of loftier long term expectations on a market cap front for NVIDIA. I believe we were talking about $10 trillion last time you came on. And so for NVIDIA to really hit that in stride over years, what do you see as the pathway towards growth into that? The pathway to growth is to pay very close attention to NVIDIA around the fiscal year guide. That is always NVIDIA's big moment, number one. Number two, the second biggest year uh, moment of the year for NVIDIA will be when Blackwell is shipping in volume. Uh, this will be your Q2 report, but we'll get some signs in Q1 with that forward guide. It's going to be uh, fireworks is how I, I would put it. Absolute ultimate fireworks for Blackwell will come in Q1 with that Q2 guide, you have to really realize that these guys are on a product release cycle. Therefore, Hopper was out you know, roughly two years ago, uh, began shipping in October, stock was down 60%. The following Q1 and Q2 report in 2023 were blowouts. So you have to understand that there's a shipping cycle that occurs for this company. Media, uh, some media outlets have blown that out of proportion. It's absolutely on time. Early next year will be fireworks again for NVIDIA, and we will be on track for that $10 trillion. But Beth, even outside of Blackwell and whenever those chips do get uh, delivered, what about some of these hyperscalers when they feel like they have enough, right? When, when they stop spending as aggressively on these chips, what happens then to NVIDIA? And when do you expect a deceleration in growth? Because that seems to be more of a story on Wall Street right now. That's a great question. They were asked that last night and they answered quite succinctly. And I'll try to summarize it for you because it was a little lengthy in terms of the answer. And I also do know the answer, which is that um, they are in a race toward preventing extinction uh, between these big tech companies. And you have to understand that whoever gets there first could completely dominate to a level that the others would decline on their business quite substantially. Uh, so this is a matter of survival. This is not a matter of, uh, you know, some cute little applications that consumers might use. One of the most important comments that was said last night to help understand this, why big tech is spending so much, is they said most of the GPU capacity is going toward their own applications. There's not a lot available for enterprises and startups right now, which means they're hogging it. They're hoarding it. Google and Face, you know, Meta and Apple and these others that are buying GPUs and custom silicon, they're using it for their own businesses. That's key because they're not even at the point yet where they're trying to leverage an ROI on their cloud infrastructure. Beth, just lastly, while we have you here, I mean, the stock has been said to have run too fast uh, and, and too quickly, grown too, you know, just, just parabolically, unfortunately, at this point, but also good for NVIDIA. I mean, has it run up too quickly at this juncture to sustain investor appetite to dive in at this level? 
Yeah, welcome to tech, you know, and there, there will always be pullbacks and we are in a lull, if you will, in the product cycle, completely expected, but, but a lull. And we do believe we will see uh, NVIDIA trade lower. All right. And, and, and we plan to pounce. So I would say buy up. Our message has always been buy on the dips and that continues to be my message.